Real quick, let's go through the Golden Globes list. They just announced the nominations. Let's do it. I'm gonna give my thoughts who I think will win. Obviously, I've not seen all of these, so, you know, can't say everything. Let's start with Best Original Score, Motion Pictures. That has to be Ludwig. I'm sorry, Ludwig, it's the best score for Oppenheimer. I haven't seen Poor Things yet, but I've seen the other ones, haven't seen Zone of Interest. Ludwig's, like... This is like the score of scores, dude. It's so legendary. It's so iconic. Ludwig's at the top of his game. It's gotta go to him. Runner up, I think, would be Mr. Joe. Joe, you know, you gotta love him. Best original song. I would love for Peaches to win. That would be incredible. I think that'd be awesome. It probably won't, though. I'm Same thing with I'm Just Ken. That would be really cool if it won. I think probably What Was I Made For will win just because of what that song means to that movie. It's a good song too, you know. I think that's probably the, the front runner. Best Screenplay, Motion Pictures. Again, I haven't seen the bottom two. For me, like most categories this year, I feel like Oppenheimer and Killers are the two heavy hitters. I might go with Killers, honestly, for Best Screenplay. Best Director, that is super tough. Um, it has to be Christopher Nolan. It has to be. Nolan or Martin Scorsese, I think. The other ones are good. I haven't seen Maestro, but the other ones are good. But it's got to be one of those guys. I think those, those movies are just, you know, a step ahead. And they're pretty popular. I think Oppenheimer will be the favorite for a lot of things because it's that big and it's that popular. Barbie, there's a chance, too, because it has that, that like, notoriety which plays a factor like let's be honest with awards so i think barbie oppenheimer will be the big two this year best performance by a female actor in a supporting role in any motion picture emily blunt i have not seen the other one so i have to go with emily blunt gosh dang dude supporting actor is tough this year man i love ryan gosling was nominated first of all because he's amazing he deserves it i gotta go with rdj baby robert de niro is also really good but i think robert Downey jr just just barely gets on him. I think he has my pick. Best performance by a male actor in motion picture. Um, musical or comedy? Musical. Like, why is Ryan Gosling in the any motion picture while Joaquin's only in Bo's Afraid? Because Barbie is way more of a comedy than Bo's Afraid. Like, let's be honest. I really want to watch American Fiction, but without seeing those and without seeing Wonka... Oh man, I mean, Bo's Frey, jo Joaquin's always, he's, he's Joaquin, he's always good. Best performance by a female actor in a motion picture, musical, or comedy. Um, no hard feelings, Jennifer Lawrence was nominated. I mean, she was, she was good, but imagine she wins for no hard feelings over like Barbie. That would be <laughs> insane. I'd probably go with Margot Robbie though. I haven't seen Poor Things yet, I know, I want to see it, but you know. It Best performance by a female actor in a motion picture. So this is just anything. It's got to go to Lily Gladstone. Um, also, it's the only one I've seen, but it's kind of good because he's got so many. Best performance by a male actor in a motion picture. Drama. Killy Murphy. Yeah, Killy Murphy. That's the answer. Best motion picture in non-English language. So d does, Boy, does Boy in the Heron not count here? It should be Godzilla. Let's be honest. It should have been Godzilla for best motion picture, non-English language. That's the right answer. That's the only right answer. And I'm, quite frankly, I'm boycotting because Godzilla's not nominated. Cinematic and box office achievement. I feel like it has to be like Mario, right? Because Mario earned the most money. Like how else do you quantify the value of this award? If anything, honestly, I would say Oppenheimer is second just because the fact that it rated our movie that that's that's this historical biopic. The fact that it did as good as it did, I think is a huge step forward for cinematic achievement. So it has to be Oppenheimer or Mario. That's just my take. Best motion picture animated is, first of all, absurd. Absolutely absurd that Wish and Elemental were nominated and not Ninja Turtles. Like that is, what are you tripping on, dude? What are you tripping on? For me, it's Boy and the Heron, but if Spider-Man wins, I'm super cool with the two. They're, they're pretty neck and neck. Best motion picture, musical or comedy? Air, American Fiction, Barbie, The Holdovers, Made December, Poor Things. I've only seen Barbie and Air, and I liked Air better. But it's not a comedy or musical at all. I don't know what they were thinking with that. These nominations are so strange. Best motion picture, drama, Oppenheimer. Yep, that's the answer. And that's the list. Wow, look at that. How time flies. Thanks for watching. I make a new video every single day. Subscribe. Maybe try to hit thumbs up. Appreciate it. Bye.